Yeah. I am still on this high from seeing this film of just, ugh, women are so badass and don't mess with us. That's awesome. Do you feel like that still after now that people are seeing it? Um, you know, it's funny. I love that mm -hmm. that reaction and I love that feeling. My. I'm like 700,000 steps like down the road of like wanting it to be a great film in every way for every person. And then that kind of ended up making me make the mascara, which is a land populated by Amazons because yes. that's the lore. And then the superhero that I'm working on happens to be a woman. Mm -hmm. So that was almost like, it's not an accident. It's, it's easy for me to, to glory in, uh, in, in either gender, yeah. uh, you know? And so, mm -hmm. It's not an accident at all, but it's funny to now come back and realize, of course, that's such a stunningly unusual yes. thing for people to see, of course. Which, at this point, you'd hope it isn't, but it yeah, is, it still it is. is. Yeah. I know for me, like, I love action films, but I was with women who, I don't usually like this kind of stuff, who yeah. were crying during the fight scene. They said, this is incredible. Yeah. Our, our producer's wife was like, I hate these movies, and <laughs> I just, oh, it's so good. That's so great. Are, are you prepared for, you know, I think women, when they see this movie, are gonna rise up, might not be the term. But I think it's it's a very empowering, and you should be proud. Thank you. This is how we're feeling about it. Thank you, yes. I am. It touches me so deeply, so deeply. Because like I said, you're aiming to make a great movie for all, sure. but definitely to bring in and include people who haven't been included in that genre. And it's been interesting to, you know, it's been interesting to have so many people come to me and say, I love an action movie and I and I responded to this. But then to have people who say, I don't love action, yet I loved the action in this. Mm -hmm. And I think it comes down to point of view. Mm -hmm. It's like if you understand the objective, mm -hmm. then the action to get to that objective is completely different. Yes. And so if you're watching, so it might be that uh, there have been action scenes before that because they were unrelatable mm -hmm. to somebody, they were they were just watching a series of events happen. Sure. Where in this case, you're watching somebody try to get to something, mm -hmm. and that might change her, exp you know, a woman's experience who wasn't relating it with that at that other time or whatever. It's been it's yes. a sociological study. <laughs> I could go on and <laughs> That's on. That's good. That's yeah. what we need, I think. And it, I loved that these women are all very strong, but they're not. There seems to be this: if you're strong, you have to be hard. And yeah. you see, you know, no spoilers, but. The end of this film kind of wrecked me. Yeah. You see this real emotion, even though you've been watching this badass superhero the whole time. That's Were you awesome. aiming for that? Yeah. Big time. <laughs> I hope. In a big way. Mm -hmm. I believe in that anyway. Mm -hmm. I believe in the whole picture, mm -hmm. but I really believe that that just because she's a woman superhero, she shouldn't have to be harder yes. or tougher or meaner or anything else. The, the Wonder Woman who in, so in, inspired me as a child is because she was the I idealized mm -hmm. version of myself, mm -hmm. you know, in every way, in every way. She didn't have to give something up for what she gained. Yes. She, wasn't, uh, she wasn't meaner because she was strong. Mm -hmm. She wasn't less beautiful because she was confident and tough and all of those. So I like, mm -hmm. I, I want, I want her to be everything for me. I want to, to, to make, to make myself feel what I felt as a seven year old when I imagined myself being Wonder Woman on the playground. And now I see her on the screen and, and it delights me just as purely. Mm -hmm.